Hi everyone, I am on here to show you this little jelly tote that um, I made with Scrappy with Designs dye. And I really wanted to make this look kind of real. I have this Cricut craft board and I've been using this on projects for like a couple years now. I really like this stuff, it's so cool. They come in different colors, they're a little bit holographic. And I thought this would be the perfect material to use with this tote. The only thing is that the craft board has this white side and I just wanted it to look real. I wanted to be able to see through the little holes and to see the holographic on the other side. So I figured out a way to line it and I'm going to show you how I did that today. You first want to cut everything out twice. So the way this die is, you have one piece for the front and back, so you'll be cutting that twice. One piece for the sides, so cut that twice. And then you have your interiors. And what I did, and this is your labels too. So you have the stacked labels, stacked interiors. But what I did <clears throat> was I used the larger rectangle piece for the bottom. And then on this side, just to cover the little folds, um, I used the piece with the stitched lining and I thought that looked really nice. And then here's my little blank label that's stacked and then on the other side I covered that as well so no white is showing. So I definitely want to share how I made this tote with the fully lined interior so that it looks super nice. And um, don't forget to check out the links below. I'll have my affiliate link plus a discount code, Hello10. So if you're inspired to make this, please check that out. And I'm just going to go ahead and start putting this together.
happy with these. I want to do these in more colors for sure. I love the retro vibe that this little jelly tote has and I think that the holographic craft paper just gives it a lot more dimension. I'm just so excited about them. I want to do them for different holidays like Christmas, Halloween. I'm just, I'm so excited to play but this holographic paper is perfect for summer. It's got all the summer vibes. The only thing that I think I need to go back and change. So I made this one a little bit different and I totally forgot to do it on this one so I apologize for not showing you the more correct way. So before I glue the tabs on the side, actually what I did was I laid it flat and then I did my lining for the sides and then I glued the tabs on. And you definitely want to do the sides before you do the front and the back panel because you want to make sure that the inside stays very clean and you want to hide all of those tabs. And the other bit of advice, just make sure that your lining pieces are trimmed as much as they need to be trimmed. So on the sides and on the bottom specifically, because when you insert that, you want to make sure not to show as much white as possible. You want to just make sure that the front and the back and the sides are very clean and you can see through them and you can see the little holographic on the other side and yeah I'm just I just love this project so much so I have an affiliate link in the description below and a code hello 10 so if you feel inspired definitely check that out thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye